Michelle Yarovsky here, and I'm going to be walking you through creating a new dashboard on Insights. When you first come to the Insights homepage, there's this big Create Your Dashboard button. As long as you have designer permissions, you'll be able to see this and click it to be launched into a new tab, which is our Insights portal. It'll ask you to choose a data source, which is basically just your data source for your tenant. You'll only see one, so just click that one and give this dashboard a title. So let's call it dash one and create. Now I, I'm able to create a new widget by clicking this plus select data button. And let's say something simple like process name. From this display, I'm able to easily create a widget by adding more data. So something like the number of process runs I'll just search for process name again, hover over it, and here it says all items. We just want to change that to count all. Now we have the number of times our process ran, and we can pick whatever widget type we'd like. So if we switch it to a pie chart or column chart, then something like a line chart or a tree map. But let's go back to a pie chart. We can also edit this from the advanced configuration where we have a lot more options like adding widget level filters, changing the titles, and changing how the widget is displayed. So let's change this to number of process runs. We can also choose a donut pie chart, a ring pie chart, and we could do the same thing by writing a formula. So if we delete this value, and we add a new value and click this FX button, all of these functions are available to use. Everything from your standard mathematical functions to date time functions to more complicated functions like case statements and if statements. For us to accomplish the same thing we did by clicking process name and count all, we can just select the dupe count function and look for our process name again. And here we are. So creating a widget is very simple. If you wanted to add a widget level filter, you could do this here. So if I wanted to filter by specific process name, I could either search from this list or search for specific text that I know my process name contains. In this case, let's just uncheck everything and check a few process names. We'll see our pie chart update. Now we'll hit apply, and this is our first widget. Now you see here there's this folder called Sales Ops Out of the Box. This contains the out of the box dashboards that come with Insights. You see they're shared with you because they have this little shared icon next to the dashboard name. If you make any changes to these out of the box dashboards, they're only visible to you, and as soon as you log out, you'll lose those changes. If you want to be able to keep those changes every time you sign back into Insights, all you need to do is duplicate one of these dashboards by coming here, clicking on this menu, selecting Duplicate. Now this dashboard is yours and you can do whatever you see fit with it. If you'd like to make some changes and share it with anyone else, you can do so and they will be able to see what you see on your dashboard. Every time you make a new change to your dashboard, if you'd like to update everyone else with that change, you can just republish your dashboard and they'll see the same thing. Thanks for watching.